follow rules, we not like the rest Type to break a record and won't break a sweat Heard your last attempt, we wasn't feeling that It's over, ain't no Novocaine, it's time to bring the feeling back What's up guys, it's your guy Aaron Banks You're a 2022 Mr. Olympia Men's Physique Champion Look, today is my first training video with the Dragon Farmers YouTube We about to turn it up, we about to get into this back We know y'all love to see the back, so look We're at Empower Gym in Miami Let's get to it, but first Let's get into this pre-workout. Y'all know I'm rocking with the Venom today. Make sure y'all head over to Dragon Pharma. Make sure y'all grab some of this Venom. I'm gonna show y'all another secret too that, I, that, that was brought to me because of course it's a part of my diet. And um, unfortunately some of y'all don't have the pleasure of having an amazing diet like myself. So I'm gonna show y'all what, what I'm gonna eat right after this, but we're gonna get this pre-workout in my system. He gonna toss me something that's, that a lot of y'all can ever never put on your diet. So Pop-Tart, you gotta get the sugar in. You can go ahead and walk past, we just talking. You good, you are definitely good. Don't mind me. But of course, you know we gotta get that brown sugar, that brown sugar Pop-Tart. Unfortunately, today it's not hot, but I'm okay. I can eat a cold. We're gonna start with pullovers. Get those lats involved. Let's grab these straps. We just finished this Pop-Tart. And let me tell y'all, it is damn good. Let's get to this warm up. This is kind of high. All right. Again, your first exercise, you're not just throwing weight around. It's all for the warm up. We don't want to risk any crazy in injuries. Oh, let's get that good stretch going. Mm hmm. Relax it. Again, we're gonna take 45, 45 good seconds to kind of recover. That's what happens when you uh, when you do your, my, when I do my warm up sets. You know, 45 seconds and we get right back into it. And again, like I said, we're not gonna go too heavy on this. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to this video because we got a lot of more content coming. You know. And again, leading up to this Olympia is going to be great. I'm just, I'm just excited to be 15 weeks out for a warm-up show out in, the, at, out in Reno, Nevada. Legion Sports Festival is going to be super dope. Um, you know, we're going to cut the traveling a little bit. We've been doing a whole bunch of kind of networking and connecting with, with the right people, you know. So um, I, I've been doing it a lot in my off-season, um, especially with being the ambassador for men's physique. So giving back, teaching, you know, letting people see my face a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this next set. Keep that chest high in this movement. Full range of motion. Get those lights involved, guys. Sometimes you lose count. <laughs> in your workouts, it's okay. But you know, you know in your head when you feel that burn, when you start, you know, really getting that exercise moving, you know when to, when to pull off, so. I don't know, I probably did like 20 there, but again, it's a warm up set, no crazy weight. And uh, shout out to this gym, the music in this gym right now, Slapping, <laughs> definitely slapping. Check the back of the shirt out. What'd it say? Dragon Farmer? Did y'all order y'all stuff already? Make sure y'all go to Dragon Farmer right now. Don't wait. My code gonna be eBanks. So go order today. Today, not tomorrow, not the next day. 
today. Let's get into this last set. No, we're gonna do one more set after this because I'm actually liking this machine. And again, I'm so excited to just to be in this position, man, and kind of, you know, give back, motivate, inspire others. It, it, it's such an amazing, I'm gonna give you a little story. Not a story, but just how I feel about my existence in this bodybuilding world, you know? It's, it's been a journey. It's, I did my first show in 2019, you know, and I became a pro in four months. I didn't know anything about this sport, you know, so when all that happened and I got my pro card in four months and I became a pro, I mean, I thought I was, I literally thought I was gonna be done. I was like, okay, I accomplished it. I got it, I became a pro. I didn't know, I, I wasn't thinking about being the best in the world, competing at the Mr. Olympia, none of that. Like, I just accomplished something that somebody told me I couldn't do, you know, and I kind of was begged. I told you guys in the beginning, like, I was begged to do this sport, so I tried it and I, I didn't know I would be in this position. Um, so again, I took that whole year year off and of course COVID hit and, you know, I um, was just living life being a dad, you know, doing the normal stuff. But then one day I just woke up and, you know, I had a partner back in Fresno, you know, it was like, man, we gotta, we gotta see what we can do with this pro card. So during COVID, we, we ended up finding a little private gym and kind of got back after it and um, 2019 it all it all my life just changed completely you know as a rookie I did my first show in Houston the Houston Tournament of Champions and um, played second you know I, I to be honest I thought I won that show I looked really good and I mean talking to some judges and getting feedback from a lot of people they said I should have won that show so um, but unfortunately I played second that was my first pro show ever um, that that was my rookie year. So a lot of a lot of people don't even do that coming into this this industry and start placing second or just even placing high in general. So um, I gave it another shot. Went down to Salt Lake City, Utah, the Wasatch Warrior. Uh, shout out to Robin. Um, great show, great production. Uh, had great judges. Placed second against Corey Morris. He's actually my teammate and. Um, you know, again, back to the drawing board. You know, I thought I won that show, and unfortunately, I didn't have enough glaze on that show. Um, literally, the feedback after that show was, Aaron, you didn't have glaze on. And looking at the pictures and stuff like that, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared um, enough. Again, this is this is my rookie season. I'm just getting started. I don't still know a lot about this sport, so everybody else was glazed and dripping and you know shining. I wasn't, but I still play second. So of course they still seen something in me that, that gave me the second spot. So um, again, that, that third show was a Pittsburgh Pro. And um, I placed third behind uh, Raymond Edmonds and um, Chiron. And uh, again, every show, I, and, I, and I hate to say it, but every show I felt like I did as, my, as a rookie, I thought I should have won, you know? Um, but that's just me being competitive, me being who I am, and um, unfortunately, I, like I said, I took third against two big dogs, you know, and and now that that happened, that that was that was the turning point of my life. That's where I was like, okay, I think I, I'm really great at this at this sport. I think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be in the mix at the Olympia. Uh, so I literally cut everything off, stopped personal training, stopped taking clients online, stopped everything in fashion, and I just went 100% in with bodybuilding and man's physique. So uh, that following two weeks, right after that was the New York Pro. We weren't even gonna do the New York Pro. We were gonna wait more closer to the Olympia to try to get qualified. So um, my coach was like, man, let's just do it. You know, so we ended up as a rookie, you know, no one has ever done this. In, in, and I'm gonna tell you right now, Aaron Banks is a history maker. Uh, <laughs> that is what I am. So as a rookie, went into my first New York Pro and of course, I came out on top, first place. Got my national, not my national qualification, but got my Olympia qualification. And um, man, that, that 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 was another turning point in my life where people were like, "Oh well, where's this? Who is this guy? You know, <laughs> where did this guy come from?" Type of deal. And um, you know, 
we're gonna pause that because I'm gonna get this set in. But I know we talking about the New York Pro. I feel we warm, but we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish story time. This is story time for y'all. So y'all want to get to know Ebank. So we're gonna finish these stories. So um, after the New York Pro, the New York Pro was a, again a success. Literally going into this year, the, my first rookie Olympia, I wasn't nervous. Um, I was confident. I was going in that show to win the show. I didn't. I didn't worry about, oh, am I gonna place top 15 or am I gonna get first call outs? No. My head was telling me the whole entire time that I'm winning this show. So going into the, my first Olympia, I was, I was excited, you know, and looked good, presented, presented the physique amazingly. Um, but unfortunately, I lost. I didn't lose, I played second. Um, look, that, that's not it. That's one thing I want to let y'all know, like, just because I play second, I don't consider that a loss for me, you know what I mean? As a rookie in the IFBB Pro, there hasn't been a guy who came in and started dominating his division the first year, and the first year he goes and plays second at the, <laughs> at the Mr. Olympia, you know? And then, and of course, I mean, that that's what kind of kept me going, you know? Like, well, shit, if I play second at this year's Olympia. Oh, next year I got this in the bag. So another 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 level of focusness, you know, came and I got invited to my first Arnold Classic. I won that one, you know. Um, again, I won the second biggest show in the world. Next thing you know, after that, we went to the Boston Pro, won that one. Um, so you know, I'm on a roll now. I got two wins under my belt. And then it was finally time to, to shut it down, you know, and kind of grow because that whole entire rookie season, they kept telling me, grow your chest, grow your chest, grow your chest. And um, we kept doing that. We kept doing that. And um, we, don't, <laughs> we don't necessarily need any more chest because the chest is mighty full right now. So um, going into 2022, Mr. Olympia, I, I had... <laughs> I had and still have all the most risk, like confidence ever, you know. Uh, I knew I was coming in there to win it. it. It was mine to take. So, um, of course, you know. And, you know, a lot of these athletes like to do a lot of talking. Of course, me. I'm a talker, but I'm also a doer. I get results and I, I back up everything that I say. Um, I just don't talk out of my ass. Some people might think it because I might say, oh, I'm going to win the Mr. Olympia and then go do it. But um, unfortunately, man, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of uh, manifestation. And um, I, I see visions in my, in my eyes and my dreams that, that, that come to life. You know what I mean? So, again, this year, 2022, you know, I came out on top. I became the number one in the world. After I said I was gonna be the number one in the world, I told them to their face that I'm gonna win this show. And they just laughed at my face, you know, they kept, they was mocking me, you know, doing all that other stuff. But like I tell people, man, I always get the last laugh. And I love the smile on your face every time I see you. But um, did that and uh, March came of 2023. And uh, of course, you know, Arnold Classic came back around. You know, we had to go back to back with that. So. Um, the, the, the Arnold Classic was a great show and you know I had to, I had to defend my title um, nothing is easy in this sport nothing is easy in this division because there's a lot of guys that got a lot of great talent you know so I always got to be on my toes um, but at the end of the day I, I you know came out victor victorious and um, now now 2023 Mr. O be ready, because I'm not playing with y'all. <laughs> we about to throw some of these EAAs. But I'm, I'm known for making messes everywhere. Let's see if I can get this in here right. Oh, got him. We about to get these EAAs going. Finish this workout. But like I said, we got 
Chess supported T Bar Row. Ooh, and it tastes good too. Getting that light work going. Getting that light work going. You know, we're gonna steal some of these plates. Cause again, that's what we gotta do. We gotta do. We working out here. It's constant work. Constant work. Again. Dragon. I'm coming to fire up the whole forest. We blazing. We blazing right now. Of course, we still in that warm up phase. We still in that warm up phase. <clears throat> I actually really like this T-Bar row. What brand is this? I don't even know what brand it is, but I'm liking how it's, how it's moving. <clears throat> Okay, we got three on there. We got three on there. So all seriousness starts to happen. Hoop. Bam. You open up. Posing? Yeah, we don't have no issues with that. We don't have no issues with that. Stage presence, we don't have no issues with that. Make sure you work harder, because y'all know how I'm coming. Being healthy is the easiest thing you can possibly do. You just gotta, you know, you gotta lock in, set that discipline, consistently do it. Shit don't happen like overnight, but guess what? You consistently do it, you may look like me one day, because at the end of the day, go look at how I looked in 2017. You'll see. Anything is possible. Ooh. Okay, so we gonna go this, this this low grip row right here. Again, we're gonna start light, because again, you don't need to do all that ego lifting. All you need to do is work that exact muscle. It ain't throwing weight around, it's pointless. Some of you guys got some different equipment in your gyms. Um, again, it's a tall man's game now. So unfortunately, when we get to different machines in different places or whatever, wherever we're at, you gotta kind of improvise. So when I'm sitting on this, right, look how, look how short like it is. I, my hands are not even locked out. So the thing is, you just find a pad, you know, Put it in place that sits me back a little bit but also gives me that that extra reach to get that full range of motion so just a little tip whenever y'all doing anything man in any of y'all gyms where y'all gotta improvise or come up with a different option oh. into this last set y'all know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually go heavier I said I don't really go too heavy but what I'm gonna do is just grab 45 and add that here <laughs> uh. 
best back in the world. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna hit these rear, rear delts a little bit. I'd be like, dang, he got some crazy rear delts. Here's the machine right here. A lot of people like to get up close into this. I have a slight angle into this, so I sit back on the pad and I just lean my chest right into it. This is for, this is, I mean, your rear delts, your medial, your medium back, your traps, everything is in there after the rear delts is a secondary movement. So uh, for those people who are, who are lacking upper back thickness, make sure you hammer these rear delts too. See, y'all see I done found a bar. I'm not gonna do no muscle ups today, but I want, what I might do, it's a back lever. Be prepared, be ready. I'm, I got y'all. Just get it. Another tip, as you see me do these, you don't see me, a lot of people just grab and put push out. Me, I take the grabbing, the forearms, all everything out of it but I want to hit the rear delts. So if you're not sensitive, push out. Don't, don't even grab that. So I'm not grabbing, right? I'm just using nothing but rear delts in this movement. Try that. Lock it in, save it. Subscribe, like, comment. What y'all want to know next? I'm giving y'all too many gems. Y'all better got it. Y'all got a lot of diamonds coming. <laughs> it's just working, man. It's just a matter of time when the body snap back. You know, we're getting back right. We got a couple months, four months to the O. Them traps are sitting high. Y'all see what's happening. Traps are sitting high. It's getting dangerous. It's getting dangerous. Genetic freak. If you're not in the gym vibing, if you're not in the gym with good energy, if you're not in the gym looking good, feeling good, <laughs> you ain't performing good. Do it on a daily basis. Come in with a great mindset. Come here dripped out, fresh, how you feel, you know? You're gonna perform good. You feel good, you look good, you play good. That's a Deion Sanders quote. I've used that all my life. We're gonna do, we're gonna do one more set. So we're gonna do four. We still at 200 pounds. I wish I had some extra pins to where we can uh, make it heavier, but I don't think this one you can. Uh, but yeah, we strong when it comes to these rear delts. Oh. Uh. Gonna take this off. We're gonna do a different variation that I ain't did ever in, a, in a minute. Uh, we're gonna do rope cable pull downs behind the back. Main thing, guys, is I tell this to everybody that I come in contact with. Anybody can come to the gym. A anybody. The gym is the easiest part. The easiest part. The hardest part is the food. Consuming the food, eating clean consistently. You know, we all love our cheesecakes and our pastas and our mom's cooking and our barbecue. But again, I, I gave that up, I sacrificed, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> I love mama's food, but at the end of the day, it's do I wanna be healthy inside and out? Do I wanna, you know, do I want my body to look a certain way? Absolutely. So therefore, you know, mom be like, come over for dinner, baby. Ma, 
I'm all right, I'm on this diet. I'm trying to stay number one in the world. You know, so it, it's things like that and my kids' bar birthdays and stuff like that. That's what I have to sacrifice, eating cake and, and having fun with them food-wise. You know, um, so if you guys can literally buckle down, have a goal, set a goal. Okay, I wanna eat clean for five of my meals and have a maybe an off, off meal. That is fine, that's a start. You know what I mean? To consistently get all the way down into eating clean throughout the whole day, that's gonna be your challenge. But again, anything is possible. I went from eating enchiladas and pizza and <laughs> Popeye's chicken during COVID. You know what I mean? Chicken sandwich during COVID. So if I can do it and I can transform my body, you guys seen it, 260, now to a lean, number one in the world, 222 pounds, you know, crazy abs, crazy back. I did it, you can do it too. So don't make no excuse, get that shit done. <sighs> Another thing guys, if you're getting into the sport or if you're just wanting to be healthy, find somebody who can, who can mentor you, somebody who can hold you accountable. Um, that's gonna be the main thing. Even though like I talked about my mom previously, you know, she's my number one support system, you know. Uh, she wanna see me win, she wanna see me successful. So it don't have to be your mom, but Find somebody out there who really supports you in your dreams and not someone who's just telling you the best. Someone who's also checking you and making sure you're accountable. Find that mentor. I got a couple of them. The Phil Heaths, the Jay Cutlers, you know what I mean? The Bear, you know? I got, I got so many people that's in my corner. You know, Johnny Mac, you know? There's so many people that I, that I have to kind of like, yo E, that ain't right. Yo, yo E, let's do this, you know? So. And moms, I ain't even gotta talk about moms. Boy, you ain't acting right. That's what she'll tell me. Oh, you gotta clean it up. Yeah, that's moms. But yeah, find y'all a mentor, man. I told y'all time was coming. You know? And I told y'all calisthenics was my background. I haven't did a back lever in, wow. It's been a minute, but uh, we are definitely going to attempt. We'll see how long I can hold it, but we're gonna, we're gonna attempt it. Let me see the grip. Let me see the grip. I'm gonna probably have to move my, my feet around because I'm too long and not, not as mobile as I used to be. Ooh we just killed a back workout like i said we we're at empower gym in miami i'm winded y'all done see me dance y'all done see me work out y'all see me talk a little shit you know make sure y'all like and subscribe comment what y'all wanna see next? Like I said, this was the first YouTube video with Dragon Pharma and eBanks. We got more coming to you very soon. We gonna see y'all in the next one. We out. We don't follow rules, we not like the rest. Type to break a record and won't break a sweat. Heard your last attempt, we wasn't feeling that. It's over, man, no Novocaine. It's time to bring the feeling back.